hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber may god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear beautiful friends in our today's video you already know we are going to be having a story time of a tanzanian lady by the name of miriam 36 years old who found love on online dating apps after two years of searching or facing lots of challenges on online dating apps so you who is on online dating apps searching for love do not worry you will find the one eventually no matter the challenges so miriam found love on online dating apps after two years of searching with an american guy 49 years old his name is harry so friends today's video is one of those videos that makes me very very excited because miriam is my own product my own baby and what is more funny i didn't know that she was my own baby until she started telling me her love story that's when it was like bella i have reached here because of your help you really helped me very very much i was like wait a minute what are you talking about have we ever talked <laughs> yes bella we talked so much we chatted a lot on instagram i have even saved all messages that we used to chat on instagram so that when i succeed i share those messages with your subscribers <laughs> And yes, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you those messages that we used to chat. So I was very happy, guys. I told God, thank you for Miriam, because it's you, Lord, <laughs> not me, guys. So without wasting much of your time, let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story of Miriam, Tanzanian, and Harry, American. So friends, you all know that I am half Tanzanian, half Ugandan, because my mom is Ugandan, my dad is Tanzanian, okay? And when I shared with you my own love story, I told you that I was done done <laughs> with Tanzanian men due to the way they broke my heart. <laughs> so that takes us to know Miriam's past love relationship experience. How was it like? Was she in a relationship with a Tanzanian guy? And if yes, how did it go? <laughs> but before that, let's get to know a bit of Miriam's life background. So dear friends, Miriam tells us after finishing Form 4, went for a hotel management course. She studied that hotel management course Till when she graduated and after graduating found her first ever job at sick leave hotel which is in masaki dar es salaam tanzania tanzanians that are watching this video you know sick leave so she worked at sick leave and that was 2005 so worked from 2005 till 2007 found another job at the hotel called blue pearl it is at ubungo plaza dar es salaam tanzania so miriam while at blue pearl working found this colleague this colleague was a tanzanian guy <laughs> and started dating the first ever boyfriend in miriam's life she was so much in love with the guy and the guy was so much in love with her they dated and everything was going so good the relationship lasted for three good years <laughs> but after three years miriam felt like there was no future with that guy it's not that that guy cheated on her not at all guys but couldn't see the future and i told you guys if you're dating someone you don't see a future with him better end the relationship and move forward start a new chapter so that is what miriam did ended that relationship and remained single 
So friends, when Miriam ended that relationship with that colleague at Blue Pearl Hotel, you know, Miriam was very, very young. And when you are young, you know, you want to try different opportunities. That is why you see she kept on changing hotels. <laughs> was from Sea Cliff Hotel, now to Blue Pearl Hotel. But after ending that relationship, resigned and found another job at Beachcomber Hotel. It is still in the restaurant. Tanzania. Tanzanians, you know Beachcomber Hotel. <laughs> so she worked at Beachcomber for a while and in 2009 found another job at Las Vegas Casino. <laughs> Guys, I remember I've ever been to Las Vegas Casino. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> peer groups, guys. <laughs> that is a story for another day. So Miriam started working at Las Vegas Casino and everything was so fine with her new job there, then found another Tanzanian guy and started dating. So this new guy that Miriam met at Las Vegas Casino wasn't a colleague, not at all, but tells us he was a military guy. So they dated for one year and unfortunately guys, this guy cheated on Miriam. <laughs> Typical Tanzanian men, you know, I told you, they cheat a lot. <laughs> they can show you that they love you, but still they will cheat on you. So Miriam phoned this guy on bed with another woman and that's when she was like, no, this is the end of our relationship. They broke up and Miriam was so disappointed in relationships. She was so disappointed in love, gave up completely, decided to remain single so miriam cause was so disappointed in relationships i told you decided to stay single remained single concentrated on her life concentrated on work that's all and time went till 2020 so Miriam tells us in 2020 was on Facebook, then found this lady, you know, they started being friends, chatted, and eventually they fixed for the first appointment. So the day to meet came, Miriam went to meet that lady and that lady was married to a white guy. So at that lady's place, they talked and she told the friend that was single. The friend was so surprised and told her, why are you single? You are very young, you should be dating. Miriam told the friend, you know what? I am done done with Tanzanian men. They broke my heart. So I really don't feel like being in a relationship with a Tanzanian guy. And she tells you to be honest, it's not that she never wanted to be with a man. It's because of her past love relationship experience had given up on love. Couldn't trust any Tanzanian guy that could tell her let's date or I like you, I want to be with you. So after talking to this friend, the friend told her, why can't you join online dating apps? Cause I found my husband on Tinder. Miriam tells you she didn't know anything about online dating apps. So told the friend, what is Tinder? <laughs> The friend told her it is online dating app where you can join and search for men. And if you're interested in white men, then it's a good place. Why can't you join and try your luck? You might find a husband there just like me. So she recommended to her to join Tinder and Badu. Immediately, Miriam downloaded Tinder and Badu, then joined, started her search. So on Tinder, tells us could chat with different men, but most men were from Tanzania, you know, local men, which she didn't like. And other guys that were on Tinder and Badu, were Turkish guys who were in Tanzania for road construction. So those guys could want a two days or three days relationship, a temporary relationship which wasn't what Miriam was looking for. So she kept on with her search and tells us one day came this Russian guy. The Russian guy didn't speak English, so they could use Google Translator 
to communicate. So she started chatting with that Russian guy and everything was going fine. The guy seemed serious. Told Miriam was searching for a black African wife. <laughs> so Miriam was so happy, very excited that eventually I have found the one. I found a guy who is serious, wants something serious, not those Turkish guys who wanted a temporary relationship. <laughs> So after chatting for some time with that Russian guy, he asked Miriam, do you have a passport? Miriam was like, yes, I have a passport, but right now the government has changed our passports. We have to change the passports and have the new passport. So this Russian guy asked Miriam, how much is it to change your passport into a new passport? Miriam told him the amount which was $150. The guy was like, okay, I want to send you the money. How can I send you that money? Miriam told him, you can send me the money through MoneyGram. And yes, guys, the next day, the guy sent $150 for Miriam to change her passport into a new passport. So friends, when Miriam got her new passport, the Russian guy told her, I want to invite you to my country so that you can visit me first. Miriam got scared and was like, no, I cannot come, be the one to come first. But this Russian guy told her that he is very busy at work, so cannot travel at that time, go to Tanzania. Told her, please come, I'm gonna pay everything. I'm going to send you all the documents needed for you to obtain the visa. So Miri told him, I have to think about it. And yes, the next day returned, I was like, okay, I'm ready to travel. Come visit you, no problem. You send me the documents. Those us that she didn't have any experience of what a red flags for her was so excited, knew that has found the one. <laughs> so they started the visa process and tells us the guy was Russian, yes, but was living in Ukraine. And unfortunately in Tanzania, there is no Ukrainian embassy. So she had to travel to Nairobi, Kenya to process her visa. So the guy, the guy was like, no problem. Sent her all the documents that were needed for her to apply for that visa. And when everything was ready, traveled to Kenya, the guy paid for everything. The transport to Kenya, the hotel while in Kenya, waiting for the visa and the visa fee. So the day to go to the embassy in Nairobi came and she went to the embassy, applied for the visa. They did an interview on her and also called the guy. And after that, they told her the day to return to take her visa. Was so excited, very, very happy. So the day to go and take the visa came, she went to the embassy, too sad, unfortunately. <laughs> She did not get the visa. So after going out of the embassy, called the guy and told him that they have denied me the visa. The guy was so surprised and told her, why did they deny you the visa? Whereby everything, all documents were there. She was like, I don't know. So she returned to Tanzania and they continued communicating. So friends, after Miriam returning from Kenya, the visa was denied. They kept on with their relationship. Everything was going very well. The guy could call her on a video call. The guy could spoil her. Whenever it could be like a holiday, the guy could send her money. <laughs> Everything was going on the right direction. And then one day, this guy told Miriam, you know what, Miriam, I've got a woman. But this woman, we don't have any love relationship between us. She is just a baby mama. I don't love her. I love you and I want to marry you. Miriam tells you that because didn't have any experience on online dating apps of how online dating guys can lie, never saw that as a red flag. Kept on with the relationship. And here comes Afro <laughs> Cinema. So they kept on communicating, you know, lovey dovey. <laughs> and this Russian guy promised Miriam to go to Tanzania to visit her in August 2021. 
So that day of Afro cinema, Miriam received a message from a lady, a white lady, introduced herself that she is a wife to that Russian guy, mentioned his name. Miriam was so surprised, but the lady was so serious in that message, told Miriam, that guy is my husband. He is not looking for a wife, but a slave. If you dare to come here, I am going to take your life. Mark my words. Miriam got so scared and told the boyfriend. <laughs> but if it was me with my crazy head, I would have blocked that Russian guy same, same day. No explanation. Because <laughs> he already said that had a woman and a woman communicating with her, that means, you know, it's a confirmation that it's true that guy had a wife only wanted a lady to play with and no wonder she was denied the visa to go to ukraine so when miriam told that russian guy about the ukrainian lady who sent her a message the guy was like no she's crazy that one don't mind her she's so stupid she's so crazy i don't love her at all we don't have any love relationship it's you that i want it's you that i want to marry <laughs> so guys miriam kept on with the relationship i know right now you're so angry at miriam <laughs> guys she didn't have any experience decided to believe what that russian guy was telling her so they kept on loving each other online so time went by and the relationship was you know continuing Miriam hoping that the guy will go to Tanzania that August 2021. <laughs> Though the red flags were there, the guy told her that, yes, I have this woman, we live together, but there is no love relationship between us. That's a red flag, guys. I told you when you are chatting with a guy, he tells you that I am divorced, but still living with my wife, or I am separated, but still living with my ex know that it's a red flag that relationship will never work even if he invites you you won't be able to go and if you're lucky maybe you've got your own money you decide to go to that country on your own you sponsor your trip just know that you are only wasting your money yes so put it in your mind because i'm saying things and still you guys keeps on doing same same things you see what happened to samantha but there's some ladies on online dating apps still making same same mistakes as those ones that samantha did but for samantha i told you she didn't have any experience so you are here watching me i'm telling you you are chatting with a guy he's telling you i'm living with the ex better end that relationship immediately chat with a guy who is living alone. Not the guy that is telling you is still living with the ex-wife. <laughs> that would be a very complicated relationship. I told you guys. <laughs> Some cases you find that yes, they are divorced, still living together just because that guy doesn't have even money, you know, to rent an apartment of his own and some are separated they are still you know looking if it can work if they can try again their relationship so a guy telling you no i don't love her it's you i love it's a lie <laughs> so let's continue with this story so as the relationship continued that russian guy told miriam that he had bought a ticket already to tanzania showed her all bags packed <laughs> to tanzania and then when the day came guess what happened another afro cinema <laughs> <laughs> when Miriam was, you know, in that exciting mood waiting for that Russian boyfriend. <laughs> The guy told Miriam, oh Miriam, I'm so sorry, I cannot come and the reason is the air company where I bought the ticket, they are telling me the plane is full. <laughs> oh my god, these guys can lie. <laughs> I remember chatting with my friend, this is another story. 
<laughs> she was sitting with a guy and all was good then told her that had booked a ticket already to tanzania <laughs> with egyptian air <laughs> but when my friend went to check there was no egyptian air that goes to tanzania <laughs> So it was just a lie as this Russian guy. Imagine <laughs> an air company calling you and telling you, oh, you bought your ticket, but the plane is full. <laughs> <laughs> that's impossible so yes miriam didn't have any experience but that really sounded so strange to her how can that happen <laughs> so friends miriam did not leave that russian guy even if so that the guy was lying to her <laughs> kept on with the relationship hoping the russian guy will book for another ticket to tanzania so all continued and after some time they started showing like losing interest towards miriam started being busy and guys i told you do not chase a guy when a guy is too busy for you just know that he is simply telling you that i am no longer interested <laughs> yeah so miriam kept on trying and trying to see if it's gonna work but the guy became too busy and eventually he disappeared so with this russian guy miriam wasted her seven months for nothing guys for nothing so after that russian guy disappearing on miriam miriam one day was on youtube you know watching youtube videos then came across my video watched it i was talking about online dating apps to try and one of the dating apps i mentioned was afro introductions so miriam went and joined afro introductions but there are some things she was not understanding on how to use afro introductions that is when she contacted me on instagram and tells me it was 27th of december 2021 so about miri writing to me i know you guys have sent me messages and some of you i have not even responded to your messages but the messages that you see me not responding they are messages like bella connect me i have told you already guys about the connection thing but if you send me a message on instagram and i see you are in danger <laughs> you will be the first person i will contact and some of you i go to an extent of even calling you you know try to explain to you that hey stop you are in danger stop you are going to be scammed don't keep on chatting with that guy he is only wasting your time because guys i care and i love you very very much those whom i have contacted you know guys you can testify <laughs> <laughs> i've saved lots of ladies from being scammed so when i saw miriam's message on instagram i had to get back to her and help her out on how to use afro introductions went and started using afro introductions so after joining afro introductions kept on watching my videos whenever i could upload a new video miriam could be there you know watching me and taking the tips one day i uploaded a video about online dating success love story and in that story guys the lady found love on f dating when miriam heard about f dating was very very happy fell in love with f dating and decided to join f dating so when she joined f dating chatted with different guys but there is that one particular australian guy who sent her a message and seemed serious she responded and everything started there chatting everything was good they could do video calls they could do things together the guy could cook with her you know the things that you guys do with these guys on online dating apps <laughs> like watch movie together cook together go out together for shopping and all that so they could do things together and she felt like was really in a love relationship 
with that Austrian guy who was working in Germany. So guys, all was going well with that Austrian guy and I told you if you're chatting, eventually you have to meet. So they talked on meeting and the Austrian guy was like, I'll be the one to come to Tanzania to visit you. <laughs> so Miriam was happy and told him, I can't wait to meet you in real life. All continued, but this guy one time disappeared for two weeks. Miriam wasn't getting that guy, could send messages on WhatsApp, the guy was not there. <laughs> not available at all and she was so, so worried. Then the guy returned. After returning back, sent her messages, very sweet messages, telling her that he was so sick, he was admitted at the hospital, but never wanted to worry Miriam. <laughs> that is why he disappeared on the phone. So Miriam came to me on Instagram and I remember this very, very well because after talking to her, that's when I started remembering this story. <laughs> So she came to me on Instagram was like, Bella, I need your help. I'm chatting with this Austrian guy, but he disappeared for two weeks. And when he returned, he's like, was sick. What I told her was like, Miriam, you have to end that relationship with that Austrian guy. Because if a guy truly loves you, if he is sick, I think you'll be among of the first people he will tell. Won't care is going to worry you because him disappearing will worry you the more. So he will better tell you that I am sick, I am at the hospital than disappearing completely on you. That's a lie. But if you want to continue the relationship with him, continue and keep observing him. But I'm telling you, I don't see any future. This guy is only wasting your time. And you guys, if you can remember, I know some of you take notes. <laughs> there is a video I did and I told you, if you want to know a guy is serious on online dating apps, he will never ever disappear on you. Will keep on communicating with you no matter what. But if you see a guy is disappearing and then reappearing, <laughs> Just know it's a red flag and that relationship that you have with him will not end well. It's going to end in two tears. So Miriam continued the relationship but also decided to join another dating app. I'm going to be sharing with you the name of that another dating app before I end this video. So friends, after Miriam joining that new dating app, started chatting with different men and it did not take so long, received a message from an American guy. That American guy is half American, half German, but lives in America and is a doctor. His name is Harry. So after receiving Harry's message, it took her four days <laughs> to respond to him. And when she responded, Harry was so, so happy. Told her, oh, finally, you decided to respond to me. I am very, very happy. So they started chatting and Miriam tells us he really seemed like a serious guy and seemed very different from all guys. So they chatted for so long that day and it was at night in Tanzania. <laughs> Tells us they chatted till five in the morning. That means the whole night <laughs> they were chatting. And when it's at night in Tanzania, in America, it's during the day. So after chatting, Harry asked for her phone numbers, her WhatsApp numbers. But before Miriam gave him her phone numbers, warned him that I am going to give you my WhatsApp numbers, but Please don't come and start asking me for nude photos. Please don't come and start asking me for sex because I won't give it to you. I am not here to play games. I am here for a serious relationship. Harry was like, don't worry. You will never hear such a thing from me. So she gave him her WhatsApp numbers that same, same day. 
so after giving him her whatsapp numbers harry told her i'm going to call you soon <laughs> on a video call so that i can see you so what miriam did kept on communicating with harry the american guy but at the same time was chatting with the austrian guy who was working in germany and after some time she started seeing red flags in that austrian guy he started disappearing again and whenever he could be at office could be offline so when she could ask the guy the guy could be like at office we don't have internet <laughs> of all places in the office no internet <laughs> and eventually the guy disappeared completely so the Austrian guy disappeared after five months of communicating and had promised to visit her in Tanzania in September <laughs> 2022 so after the f dating guy disappearing miriam kept on chatting with the american guy harry so harry could call her on a video call and ask her about her life about her family and also miriam could ask harry about his family he could say all is good I told you when I started this video that Harry is a doctor. So Harry could work lots of night shifts. And she talked about it with me, came on Instagram again, started telling me I'm chatting with this American guy. He tells me he's a doctor and he works at the hospital, night shifts. <laughs> and you know your girl, <laughs> your sister don't want you to be in trouble. So I was like, night shifts? How comes he's always on night shifts? Are you sure this guy is a doctor? <laughs> she was like, Bella, I don't know. I told her, you need to confirm. This guy really works at the hospital and he is a doctor. Because you guys know that on online dating apps exist lots of guys that will lie to you. I am an engineer. We have lots of engineers. We have lots of advocates. We have lots of lawyers. We have lots of doctors. <laughs> Businessmen, the tycoons, that is what they will tell you, but you have to confirm. So I told Miriam, confirm this guy, it's true, he is a doctor and works at night. Please, please. So she was like, okay, Bella, I am going to work on that, then I'll get back to you. So yes, Miriam kept on chatting with Harry and yes, did like I told her, confirm that it's true Harry is a doctor and works at the hospital because Harry could call her on a video call while at work, yes, at night. So Miri could see everything. The guy was so open, was never like, you have trust issues, right? <laughs> Are you doubting me? No, 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 no. When she asked for evidence, the guy showed her the evidence <laughs> without being offended. Those who get offended just because you have asked a question, guys, you need to know he is hiding something from you because <laughs> if there is nothing to hide, why should you get offended at a simple question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so everything was going so good and at that time they were dating exclusively as girlfriend and boyfriend so yes guys they were crazily in love with each other could communicate every single day but there was one problem <laughs> which was they started chatting in may 2022 but there was no sign of harry introducing miriam to his mother and miriam asked but harry could repeat every single time that it's not yet time i am going to introduce you but it's not yet time so miri was so confused and thought that maybe harry isn't serious with her that is why he doesn't want to introduce her to his mother and then she came again <laughs> <laughs> to Bella, Bella, what can I do? This guy doesn't want to introduce me to the mother. <laughs> I gave her some tips, but I insisted. 
that hey if a guy tells you that he is so much in love with you he was even planning to go visit her in tanzania but still still never introduced her to the mother to the father nothing only friends <laughs> so i told her no you cannot accept this the guy should introduce you so there was sort of misunderstanding between miriam and harry due to that but they never gave up on their relationship <laughs> kept on building their relationship and days kept on going so yes time was going and eight months had passed of them being in a love relationship girlfriend and boyfriend then november came 2022 harry called her on a video call and it was a surprise <laughs> introduced to miriam to his mother oh my god miriam was so happy to see harry's mother the mother greeted her and was like are you miriam <laughs> <laughs> she said yes i'm miriam then the mother was like my son has talked a lot about you <laughs> i'm so happy to meet you and everything was good mary was over the moon <laughs> yeah and when the mother left then harry told her i hope you are happy now <laughs> she was like yes i'm so happy and from this miriam tells you for what she thinks maybe harry wasn't sure if miriam is serious i told you last time that even serious guys when they start chatting with you it's not that they are sure that you are serious it's you who knows deep in your heart you are a genuine woman you are a wife material but a guy needs time to get to know you a guy needs time you know to assure himself that you are the one that is why i've told you do not rush into a conclusion but if you see red flags <laughs> please try to confirm if they are really really red flags and end that relationship but if you're not seeing red flags there's some things you don't understand well keep giving him more time to confirm than jumping into a conclusion and lose a serious guy yes so i've told you that harry introduced miriam to his mother in december but before december harry had planned to go to tanzania in september 2022 to meet miriam but that did not happen cause of work so Miriam was so upset and thought maybe this guy is a liar. <laughs> so those are misunderstandings. I told you as a couple, fighting is normal. Even Bella here. <laughs> Sometimes, yes, you know, some small fights happen and, you know, I stand on my grounds. I told you. <laughs> You have to stand on your ground sometimes, you know, to show a man that, you know what, yo, I know, I know, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, so they had some fights about that and later on they worked it out. Harry told her, don't worry, I am going to come next year, 2023, March. So friends, before we get to know if Harry went to Tanzania, March 2023, I know you guys want to know, <laughs> was Harry spoiling Miriam in their long distance relationship? <laughs> the answer is no. Harry never sent her any money and Miriam never asked any money from Harry. But tells us whenever it could be her birthday, Harry could send a very sweet message, sing to her happy birthday. Even Christmas sent her a very beautiful Christmas message, you know, Christmas wishes to her, but no money. <laughs> so my dear beautiful ladies, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened and i told you guys <laughs> if a guy is not sending you money <laughs> you shouldn't leave him no you shouldn't be like he's not responsible no you shouldn't be like he's stingy no some guys when they meet you in real life that's when they will spoil you <laughs> due to their past love relationship experience and from this miriam tells you that 
Harry told her he was waiting. Like the first week waited. If Miriam will ask him money, nothing. The second week, nothing. Days kept on going to months. Miriam never asked him money. And that's when he was like, I think this lady is different. I've seen something special in her. I will keep on pursuing their relationship. So if Miriam had asked Harry money, he answered, I could have blocked you. I could have ended the relationship with you. Cause in his search, met lots of scammers. They could chat day one, day two, they ask him money. And some ladies could refuse a video call. So guys, you see, men are also facing challenges, you know, facing scammers, facing people who don't want to be seen on a video call. So that explains why you are chatting with a guy, it has been so long, he tells you he loves you so much, he shows that he really care by words, but you have never seen a single coin from him. <laughs> yeah, keep waiting and see when you meet what will happen. From there, you will know if that guy is not responsible, you will know if that guy is stingy. If he even dares to come to visit you for the first time empty-handed, <laughs> then we'll tell him, go back to where you're coming from. This is Africa. <laughs> Oh my god but i hope you have learned something here do not ask men money miriam tells you don't ask men money so yes guys days went by and march 2023 came then it was time for harry to go to tanzania on second march harry landed in tanzania miri was at the airport to pick him he landed in the morning around 10 a.m and harry told her before we go to the hotel before we do anything i want to see your family let's go to your home and after that that's when we will go to the hotel guys you see this is a serious guy who has come with real intentions. So guys, after the airport, they headed to Miriam's parents. And when they arrived, the parents were so happy to meet him. He was happy to meet the parents and did all the process introduction and everything. After that, that's when they went to the hotel where he had booked with miriam so yes guys went to the hotel that day and after two days of harry being in tanzania tells us they had gone to coco beach to eat and after they had eaten we are walking you know along the beach then so harry down on his knee with a ring asked her miriam <laughs> will you marry me oh my god she was so so happy and said yes but when she told me that i was like so did you know about the engagement or it was just a surprise told me she knew the engagement was going to happen because harry had asked her <laughs> her ring size and also sent her some rings to choose the one that she likes when he was still in america but tells us that real moment when he proposed it was like a surprise to her yes she knew it was going to happen but it was all magical guys <laughs> congratulations girl and if you follow me on instagram at african bella you must have seen this because immediately after being engaged she sent me the photos I was like oh my god bella i'm engaged <laughs> I was so happy I told her, congratulations girl, I'm so happy for you and I shared with you guys the joy that I heard. So my goodies lover, I know you want to kill me right now. <laughs> Why is that Bella is not telling us about the goodies? <laughs> Did she share her goodies the first night? No guys, she did not share her goodies the first night and the reason is was on her period. 
also remember Harry is a doctor so they had to first check their health condition before sharing the goodies <laughs> and after five days when you know the periods were over yes she shared the goodies and everything went super good so after the engagement then they started their touring they started touring around Tanzania went to Ngorongoro went to Moshi they really enjoyed so so much Harry stayed in Tanzania for 16 days. But Miriam tells you guys that long distance relationship is not easy. It just needs someone who is very patient, faithful to God, <laughs> that it's gonna work out. So give everything to God, put all into his hands, and it's gonna work out just like how it worked out for Miriam and Harry. So dear friends, to her advice, Miriam advises you all ladies that are on online dating apps searching for the one, searching for that man to marry you, to not settle for one guy. If you receive messages, let's say from Afro introductions, you receive messages from F dating, you receive messages from meet me, you receive messages from black people mingle, answer them all keep chatting with all guys until you choose who is serious until there is a guy who comes and be like let's be exclusive and you see he has got everything that you ever wanted in a man than ignoring all messages and settle with one guy from her experience we can see that she was sitting with a guy on F dating and had Harry from America kept chatting with Harry too. And what happened? <laughs> we see the one on F dating started showing red flags and eventually disappeared. Then she remained with Harry. So imagine if Miriam had ignored Harry's message and stick to that Austrian guy. She could have lost a serious guy who is going to be her husband now so take this tip with you it will help you a lot while you are on online dating apps so friends what is their next plan the next plan is to get married and at first harry wanted to apply for k1 visa for mary to go to america and join him but unfortunately k1 visa takes so long so the plans now have changed they are going to get married in tanzania and after getting married they will go together to america it is easy that way and that's why they have decided we'll get married in tanzania september this year girl i wish you all the best in your wedding preparations congratulations to you miriam and harry thank you so much for sharing your love story with us and i really appreciate your beautiful words oh my god she sent me very very sweet messages i'll see if i'll get time i'll make you listen to her messages whereby she was telling me talk to her mom about me and her mom was so happy <laughs> told her oh my god this young lady has got a gold heart but for me i tell you it is god it is good that helped you find the one it is good that guided me to talk to you to show you the way it is good that brought you to my youtube channel <laughs> yes so we thank god for everything <laughs> Nisinge fika hapa nipo fika na mchumba wangu. Nilijiunga kwenye dating nikawa sijui chochote. Siku nimeingia YouTube ndo nikajua nini. Na nikakutumia message DM. Na hivi itakuwa vizuri nita screenshot message tulikuwa tuna chat pia ushe na watu kwenye hiyo story maana tumetoka mbali yani mimi ni zao lako kabisa bela na ninakushukuru sana yani hata sijui ndini kulipa nini my dear yani wewe nimemsimulia mpaka mamaangu story zako mama akaniambia yani msichana ana moyo wa pekee 
the big question guys you all want to know where miriam met harry they met on ok cupid yes she is tanzanian most tanzanian ladies have been telling me ok cupid does not work maybe now but tells you they met on ok cupid tells you that ok cupid has got lots lots of serious men and this is true you can see due to the success love stories that i have shared this year most couples are from ok cupid and afro introductions so dear beautiful ladies if ok cupid works in your country give it a try some of you are still coming they are asking me to pay on ok cupid you can use the free version to chat with a guy who is paying because even miriam never paid on ok cupid but harry was paying on ok cupid and that's how they were able to communicate so dear friends we have come to an end of our today's video it is my hope you have enjoyed learned a lot so things if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video i would like to know please watch my other videos too they are super super good you're going to learn lots of things from those videos if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.